Hello friends, welcome to another video. How we can achieve similar functionality like line and stacked column chart and line and clustered column chart. If we if you use combo charts, which is a cluster column chart and stack column chart, you can have the bars on X axis and then on your uh, on on one Y one axis and Y two you can have a line chart where you can show average and other things max and min whatever you you want to show. But if you want to achieve the similar functionality in the line visual, you cannot do that because let's say if you want to show the sales by year and then by by country on legend and now you also want to give average of each year you want to show within the same line visual it is not possible so we have a solution for that um, and uh, this is what we're going to do in this video let's get to power bi and take a look so here i have a a simple um, line chart where i have a, a month end on the on the x-axis and then i have a sum of sales by um, each uh, year or month and then on legend I have countries. So I also on analytical page, uh, if you can see here, I added a average line, which is sales average and color green. So if you look into this, this is an average sales line across all the time period which has been selected. So basically I have selected the two years. So for those two years, 2021, this average line is flat. But the ask here is, I'm just going to show another page which I created. So we have here, uh, I used a, a line and stack column chart. So on, on um, shared axis, on, uh, on column I have sales. So this is sales by country. And then on my line value, I used average sales, which is just an average of sales. So this is what we are getting. So this is the average sales per month. And this is the total sales by country. Now, if we want this kind of average line in our line visual, how we can achieve that? Um, because there is no, no way to do that as of now, uh, because um, if we put average sales, let's say I have the measure on secondary values. And let's see what happens which I cannot do because if I have a legend, then I can use the secondary value. So either I have to remove the legend and then use the average sales. Let's try that. Remove this. And now I can have the average sales. So this is this is what is showing me the average. But now I lost the uh, sales by country. So that's what we wanted to achieve. So let's go back to country. So how I put the country on legend. And let's see. So this is what we have. But we want our average line as we see in this particular um, visual. So how we can do that? So there is a first thing what we need to do is we need to create a separate table for countries, which will also have a, a average uh, as a row in that particular table. So let's create that one and then start building from there. Let's create this new table, a table with country, uh, all the unique values of countries and then the average. So what we will do is modeling um, new table. Let's call it a country with average. And uh, what we will do here is we need a unique list of um, countries. So we can have a union and then we can have all no blank row. And that will be geography country. And then we append it with our own row, which will be average. To do that, we will just create a uh, wrap it in uh, curly brackets, which will be a and make it as a table. So if we look at this table now, if I bring country with the average and bring the country column here and uh, see the table visual. Now, the, here is a problem that we see average row, but it is after Australia because it's alphabetically sorted. Now we don't want this. We want average either at the first or the last, depending on whatever you want. So what we need to do is we need to add a sort column in our uh, new uh, table we created. So how we can do that, maybe we use it, select columns, values from geography country, so my country will be my country column 
and my country sort will be uh, also the same and but my average so here we have two columns now country and country it's the same value but one is called country column and another is called country sort column and for average what we will do is we will just give it a a dummy sort value which will be at the end so how we will do that so we will say row um, country the row sorry average so this is the first first is the name of the column and then so it's no rows it's row and first is the name of the column and second is the value so row, country average and now we know the next column we have is country sort and maybe we will call it z average so z is like if we alphabetically sorted it will be at the end and then um, so if we now press enter so what we have is we have two columns country and country sort so what we can do here is now select country column and sort it by country sort and you will see average will go at the bottom so see now average is at the last because country sort value is at z at the end so this will uh, give us the list of the countries with the average at the end so now we need to add a measure uh, which will uh, work based on this, this new table so what that measure will be let's put a new measure and maybe call it sum and average by country so what we're going to do here is what we're going to we're going to check if our current selected value in this new table which is a country ah sorry country with average country is average if if we are at the average uh, row of the uh, this new table then what we're going to do is we are going to have the average between values of uh, geography uh, our regular geography table and then our sum sales which is just a sum of sales if not then what we are going to do is have our sales and let's actually not do this treat as so basically we are going to uh, because country with the, um, the table country with the average does not have any relationship so we're going to use the row value from the country with the average table and then filter our regular geography table so we're going to go treat as values our country with average country and then pass the filter to our regular geography country so this should work so let's try this here Two things we're going to do is uh, we're going to use this but new measure now sum and average and on the country uh, legend what we're using right now geography country but instead of that we are using going to use a country from the the new table which we created country with the average table so it's country all right so now let's take a look at that so we should have an average so here we, we have the average row okay so we now also have a regular sales by country and also the average line so the yellow line is the average as you can see so this will also work with the slicer so if we have a slicer and I use this slicer and now the total sales by country we see that and also at the same time we get to see the average so uh, this is working as expected so there's no sales in headset in brakes and bottle and cages bike stand as you seen in this video um, if you change your um, you create another disconnected table and then use treat as to pass the filter from that disconnected table to your actual table which is part of the relationship and then then you can achieve these kind of calculations so we have an average here we can have other 
um, uh, measures in data as well, min and max, and then we can, uh, in our measure, we can check if we are at the average, then do average, if it's a, at the, um, you know, min or max, whatever we want to do. So with this connected table, we add a new row to it and then perform our calculation on top of that. I hope you find it useful. Uh, with this, you can actually create your own lines within the line visual as well, um, which is otherwise not possible. Until next video, have a good day. Do subscribe my channel. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.